with this ring. Have you seen this couple? They disappeared a day after their wedding. They were going for their honeymoon in Zanzibar via mainland Tanzania. The couple, Mary Mwangi and Martin Kirima, last communicated with their brother, Maina Karioki, shortly after crossing the Namanga border point. That happened to be the last communication we ever had from Martin. The family has since launched an appeal on social media to solve the mysterious disappearance of the couple. Maina, a family member, tells of a post on Facebook that he believes could be a lead in the search for the missing couple. It is out of a wall of uh, somebody that this person commented that he knows them and they were kidnapped together in Dar es Salaam, but him, he managed to run away. The ill-fated ferry had 290 people on board, 126 are confirmed to have died, 146 people survived. A number of people still remain unaccounted for. Five bodies were recovered in Tanga in Tanzania, but not a single trace of DNA has been done. Miner explains that when the brother Timothy Kinua went to Tanzania in search of the couple, he viewed over 130 bodies and the couple was not among them. The family concludes that if they did board the ferry, their names would be in the manifest, but as Miner tells us, both their names were not in the manifest. Miner says Mary's phone was switched on for three minutes on the 31st of July at exactly 3 or 3 p.m. If Mary's phone was in the Indian Ocean for two weeks, even if it was recovered, it couldn't have worked. Efforts to get a comment from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs did not reveal much. Indeed, we were told the such had been called off. Upon a request for a statement, we were told that the matter is already in Parliament. Two months of waiting for the return of Mary and Martin Kirima, or even a sign that they are alive, the family is still looking for them, even after search and rescue operations were called off two weeks after the incident.